starting point is behind you. Mm. So that's how we start. That's the wool that comes into us. So you have loose fibre mm. that is combed, just like I'm, I'm pulling out the fibres. What we try and do is align all the fibres. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that when we produce the yarn, we have a consistent yarn. Eventually, you'll come to a point where you're making it so thin that you'll pull the fibres out and okay. you'll put twist into them. Yeah. To get the yarn. Yeah. Right, okay. So okay. that will be what these machines are doing, wow. but I've just done that by hand. This is the same fibre, the same principle. We're pulling out the fibre from this sliver and we're going to then spin the yarn. The fibre's coming overhead. It's going through this roller, which is very, very slow wow. in terms of the speed that it, uh, that it goes round compared with the front roller, which is going a lot faster. The, the front roller is pulling the wool through, and then the spindle is revolving at about 4,000 revolutions per minute, wow. and it's putting twist into the fibre. The so next step after the spinning is winding, which is basically just winding a spinning tube onto another package to make it suitable for the next operation. Okay. So. It's really just transferring from one medium to another and at the same time it detects for faults. That's nice. You should look into this one for sure. We really like that one. That's nice too. We have a selection of what we can produce or you know what the machine what potential the machines have. You can go from something as fine as this, which is the Two, fine yeah. four ply tight weight, okay. to something as heavy as these products. Yeah. And many years ago, at one of the shows, one of the customers was looking at it and he was speaking to his colleague and he's saying, Yeah, that's going to make a double breasted and lapels out here. And I'm thinking, <laughs> they're already visualizing what the finished good, uh, finished garment is. Yeah. All we're seeing is a piece of fabric. Yeah. We really need this cross knowledge. Mm -hmm. And I think that's what people benefit by coming to see how fabric are made. You already know what you want to do with this particular fabric. We're wanting to kind of work with a, a traditional tailored jacket, but kind of put it under kind of like couture sort of structure and maybe apply some volumes that you would find in like traditional couture yes. and like apply that to like a men's tailor jacket so when we were like thinking about fabrics we were thinking about stuff that is kind of that, that, that holds volume that has a bounce to it that, yes. that, that can also be made well made up well like a tailor yes. jacket so yes. I think just by coming here and seeing how it's actually made it's going to help us inform our process about how maybe we put the volume together and yeah, how yeah. we kind of construct the jacket. In terms of production, we've got to produce the, the warp. It's called the section warper. We're building section, section by, by section, section, section by section. Right, so it's not just like one full kind of blast. No, it's kind of built like a cobweb. Simply because it's so fine the yarns we're using mm. and there's so many threads mm -hmm. in the warp. Was it still just as fast, this thing, where it was done handmade, or was it a lot slower? This is definitely faster. Yeah. I mean, with the old style, it was much more the, the, the person running in the, the machine that controlled the tension and everything. So it was... It was you have to have someone really trustworthy. And absolutely. Like, really, like, somebody that trained. really knew what yeah, they yeah, were yeah. doing. So you, again, you have your warp and you're transferring the weft from the accumulators here uh -huh. and it's taking it across and weaving. Wow. Jesus, it's like so like, so aggressive in a sense. Yes, like, oh. yes. Yes, the anomalies of what we're doing, we're putting very fine natural fibres in heavy machines and expecting to get perfection. So sometimes is there any like breakages that happen? Absolutely, yeah. happens, uh, happens all the time. And is yes, the machine sure. kind of notice when that happens? As soon as, you have a, as soon as you have a breakage, at the back you have these dropper stops the loom immediately. Yeah. The braking system is phenomenal. Wow. This is running at 302 weft insertions per minute. Wow. We can run them at 450. 
but depending on the cloth. Right. It smells great as well. Yeah. It's got yeah, like a nice kind of like yeah, 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 you yeah. do. Yes. So as far as production in Bauer Robic is concerned, the only time we come from ground floor up to first floor is in mending. Mm -hmm. So all of the problems related either to the yarn mm -hmm. or to the, m the weaving process, right. these ladies who have spent a lot of time understanding construction, understanding the yarns involved, are trying to make a perfect piece. So can you, is it there are different types of problems yeah. that you can tell and you have to do different kind of processes to fix it? Yeah, right. there could be yarn fold, there could be weaving fold, there could be um, design fold. So it's so nice to see just as a designer because, you know, having all of that respect and love put just into the cloth, you know, you have to marry that with the effort and love that you put into the design as well and the making up of it. I think by seeing this, just this alone as well as everything else, just helping me realise like how much work goes into it. It's fab. When it's fully finished, and I have to confess, this is one of our better qualities. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that, it, this oh. is all wool. Feels like cashmere. Feels like cashmere, that's it's crazy. But it's, it's actually all wool. It's a 12.5 micron. So it's one of the most fine wools that you can get. It's beautiful. But oh the touch is phenomenal. Yeah. That's amazing. It's like, it's like liquid Can't oil. <laughs> <laughs> the ultimate of rare wool, I like that. It's great. And this is Scabal, right? Yeah. This is, yes, this happens to be, yeah. God, look at the yes. shine on it as well. It's, it's quite ironic that most of what we've been seeing going through is is looking for the luxury touch, the soft, the, the, the cashmere type finish. Mm. This, ironically, is almost the opposite. It's the yarn that's producing the, the touch and the handle. Mm -hmm. And really, we don't want to put too much finish in this. We want it to be bouncy, yeah. performance. You know, it's a completely different re requirement. Yeah, definitely. I mean, the reason why I like this fabric so much is like, even though I do like the, the, the softer finish to the other fabrics we've seen, but this one has the ability to be kind of like a lot more drapey and hold volume. Yeah. I mean, like we're able to, s I can already tell by this that we're able to make up, we'll be able to make up some really beautiful shapes. I mean, even just holding it like this, you know, just drapes so nicely. I really want to the everything to sort of lend to this fabric because essentially that's what we're going to be, you know, it's, it's informing our process. But I think what we're going to do is we're going to like kind of do a lot of sampling, maybe just with this particular cloth, just to s like, you know, do bits of volumes like this. Yes. To see how it drapes. I mean, just having something like that, you know, like on the back, you know, or, you know, it's just got so much, you've got so much you can do with this. I mean, we're going to try and see how, how much we can lend to actually this fabric without, you know, applying too much canvas or yeah. stiffening. Yes. I think, you know, just working with the fabric itself, I think that's what we really want to achieve. Yeah. You can just buy. I mean, I'm doing this really quickly, but... I think just having this piece in the studio just to drape with would be really, really great, so... Right, no problem. Whereas, you know, something that has a bit more of a softer handle, that would probably just fall a lot flatter, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. which would be a different effect, whereas this one has a lot more bounce to it, so... So, yeah. Good. <laughs> <laughs> great. Today was great. It was really, really exciting. It was really good to um, just see how everything was made, like, seeing the respect and the love that goes into, you know, how the fabric's made and how it's spun and all the different processes. I mean, at Bauer and Roebuck, like, seeing how, you know, the, the people like put the fabric together, how they inspect it, like the time and the, the attention to detail, like it kind of makes you respect your craft and their craft together and you know putting them into perspective I think. Seeing the raw material being spun and like it was stuff I just never learned before you know and I think this has been a really really important trip for me to go on because um, I've, I've learned a lot about the process of how things are made and I think that's helped out a lot.